I should probably remove this before I start the video. Drag it all the way over here and okay. What is up everyone? Nick Trost Gaming here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Strike Internal for 1.18.30. Like always, the download can be found in the description below. Now, for this video, you might want to stick around because there are some things that I'm going to need to show you. Before you go to download Strike, you will need to turn off your real-time protection. If you do not know how to do that, in the top right, I'll leave an annotation. Once you are done disabling your real-time protection, you can go ahead and launch your Minecraft. On Windows, you can press F11 on your keyboard, or you can go into your video settings and you can disable full screen, allowing for easier access. Now this part is very important. You want to go into your video settings and you want to make sure your GUI scale modifier is set to negative one. Later in the video, you will see why this is important. Now you can go ahead and you can make a world, join a world. In this video, I'm going to be using the NG injector. For you, you'll actually get the strike injector, which after you use it once, you'll be able to get the DLL and then use your favorite injector. So in this video, I'm showing me using the strike injector and also me using a custom injector. By using the strike injector, it will always get the latest DLL. All you have to do is double click on the strike injector and you'll get the latest update. By using the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can navigate through the menu and enable and disable options. By pressing the insert key, you will bring up the click GUI. Now, if you don't have an insert key on your keyboard, you can go ahead and type in the commands dot bind and bind it to a different key. When I had you change your GUI scale modifier, this is the reason why. It's just so that your GUI will look natural. Plus, it looks cleaner and gives it a Java type feel. Now, if an option has a plus sign next to it, that means you can expand the options by right clicking. You can also collapse the option by right clicking again. And you can left click to enable and left click again to disable an option. In this new update, Strike now features new customization options along with Hive Bypasses. I highly recommend when you go to join the Strike Discord to download the Strike Client that you stay in the Discord to get further updates. If you don't believe Strike Internal is safe, it is false positive, and it's also made by the same person who made the NG injector. Strike Internal will have more updates in the future, and it is planned to have cloud config. This means in the future you'll be able to share your configuration files with others online. So with all this being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.